Hey guys, Michael B. The Game Genie, back again for another Top 3 Tuesday. First off, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who sent in video responses over the past week. The reception has been incredible again, 14 responses. Love to see it grow more. So many online, too, in the comments. So thank you so much. The people who did video responses last week are Mr. Dude 206 who did an absolutely hilarious video with real game footage. Weekend Game Guy, Chris Hugh. Cut it close. Nessum Simpson, Captain Algebra, The Expendable Gamers, The Game Stir 90, Ness Addict, Zero Trade In Value Productions, Dom, nice to see ya. Electric Adventures, Tony, also nice to see ya, man. Retro Underground, RC3 Art, Michael Chrisman, Guardian Dog, Storage and Disposal. Thank you, everybody, for doing video responses. My top three this past week were The Expendable Gamers. Ness Addict, and it kind of kills me to do this, but I'm going to do it. Mr. Dude 206, Stu, your video this week was probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. As soon as uh, your first selections and <laughs> game footage came up, I almost died. So the comedy is what won you the top spot this week, my friend. Glad to see you're over your cold. Anyway, so. This week's topic is a little bit different. I actually feel like kind of a hypocrite because I am by no means an expert in this topic, but this week I'm talking about top three shmups. So, like I said, I'm not an expert in this area. When I was a kid, I actually didn't play shoot 'em ups all that much. I actually find them kind of, and I don't use vulgar language like this on the channel very often, but I found them awful crappy to be honest. It just seemed like it was a lot of cheap deaths that they were really built around the arcade, like one hit and you were done and it seemed like nothing was really happening, the ship was just going along. Mainly I was crappy at them, and that's probably why I thought they were crappy, but as I got older I started playing them, started seeing the incredible music, the challenge, the skill that's involved with playing them, and I really fell in love with them. So here are my top three that I enjoy playing right now. What I'm really hoping to happen, I'd love to see everybody share those, and I'd like to learn about a couple other really great shoot em ups that I can start playing and trying to enjoy. Again, I'm not an expert, I don't know everything about it, but these are just my top three. First game is a game on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I love it because I think it's a great shoot 'em up. Gun Knack. I think Gun Knack is a fantastic shoot 'em up, mainly because it reminds me so much of another game that's going to be on this list a little later on. I know everybody thinks it's a cute em up and I understand where that's coming from. It's probably not as difficult as a lot of other shoot em ups that people enjoy playing, but I really enjoy it. I like the power up system, I like the music, and I'm amazed that they packed all this onto the Nintendo Entertainment System. There's times when I'm playing it and it feels like some of those early era shoot em ups on 16 bit systems. So, Gunnack, it's actually a fantastic shoot em up. I'm hoping someone else chips in with another game that actually is an import <laughs> that is also on the NES and is also a great shoot 'em up. We'll see if anybody comes in with that one. But and I'm not going to include that. My number two is actually a game on the Sega Genesis that I'm terrible at Truxton. Yeah, I knew nothing about Truxton growing up. Uh, first time I ever heard about Truxton was I heard Ed T1138 talking about it, you know, the originator of Top 3 Tuesday, and I decided to check it out, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Disclaimer right here, I am absolutely terrible at Truxton. I don't know if I've ever got past the first level, to be honest, but I love it. I, I love vertical scrolling shooters, of course. This one has something special to it. There's a feel, like it's sticky, it feels grounded almost when you're playing it. And I just really enjoy the way it plays. I love the music, I love the power-ups. Truxton is a fantastic game. In my opinion, the best shmup I've played so far on the Sega Genesis. I know some people are gonna say something else, but hey, Truxton. And last but not least is a game on the TurboGrafx-16 and this one for me is the one and all, be all of scrolling shooters, Blazing Lasers. Yeah, I've said it before, I've said it probably about a thousand times. If it wasn't for Blazing Lasers being so gosh darn good, I probably never would have got into scrolling shooters. It's just not something I was ever interested in until I got my TurboGrafx-16 as an adult. 
And one of the games I got was Blazing Lasers, and I started playing it and said, wow, this game is unbelievable. Everything from the music, the level design, uh, the powers that you get, and just really understanding what a shoot 'em up is. Like, it actually inspired me to learn how to play it. And that sometimes it's about as much, a, uh, it's almost as much about avoiding the powers as it is avoiding some of the projectiles to actually progress in the game and keeping the abilities that work for you at certain points. Man, oh man, Blazing Lasers just opened my eyes and basically created a whole new desire in me to start playing games of this nature. So guys, those are my top three shmups. Like I said, you know, I, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because I'm not a huge shmup guy and I didn't play them growing up, only got into them as an adult, so those are the three I really enjoy. I'd love to hear what you guys think of your top three shmups. Maybe you can show me something new I didn't know about and I'd be really into. So feel free to do a video response. You can either leave it as a comment down below or, you know, send it to me over social media. What I'll do is I'll grab it, I'll watch it, I'll post a link to it on my Facebook page to make sure everybody can see it, and I'll also put it up in the comments of uh, the video, so everybody can check it there either way. Anyways guys, Top 3 Tuesday, thank you again, and uh, hopefully we'll see your responses soon.